More than 30 years ago, the government in Malaysia decided to toss English out of the classroom and teach children in their native language of Bahasa Malay. But now, in an abrupt about-face, Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad has ordered English back into the schools. And as Susan Yu reports, it's a decision that has sparked a heated debate, dividing parents, educators, and politicians alike. These Singaporean children are learning the language inherited from the colonial British. Since independence, English has been the lingua franca in Singapore for its Malay, Chinese and Indian population. It's a society that recognizes the importance of strong English skills. But in neighboring Malaysia though, rather than uniting cultures, the use of English in the classroom has divided the country's multi-ethnic groups. Last July, Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad announced that Malay, officially in place as the national language since 1969, would no longer be used to teach maths and sciences. Okay. What is communication? Okay. communication Instead, English, once seen as an unpatriotic then, language in post-colonial Malaysia, would be used for instruction people, from primary school like onwards. In China or in the Europe. Dr. Mahathir's goal is to improve the country's standard of English so Malaysians can be more competitive globally. Science teacher Sita Bazura agrees and welcomes the switch. She instructs in English at this Kuala Lumpur school. A lot of in science, a lot of reference book, a lot of uh, information are in English. We need to learn in English because um, the progress in science and mathematics, they are so fast, they are developing so fast, so we need to catch up with them. Principal Dato Frita isn't wasting time. The Sri Sampaka School is already gearing up for instructors to improve their own English for the change this year. We've started immediately actually when the Prime Minister said that, you know, we're going to do this. Well, I think generally over the past six years, you know, Malaysians, uh, the standard of English has sort of uh, deteriorated somewhat because then the medium of instruction was Bahasa Malaysia and most subjects are, are taught in Bahasa Malaysia and only English is taught in English as a second language. But slowly now people are aware that English is important. But many believe the policy will backfire. Father of five, Zula Hasnan Shakri and his wife want their children to be educated in Malay. We already have problems understanding maths and science as it is in Bahasa Malay. We are also taught English, but if we are taught science and maths in English, we are guaranteed to fail, so it will mean bigger problems for us. Critics say English as a medium of instruction is nonsensical when you look at the country's ethnic makeup. Of its 23 million people, 60% are ethnic Malay, while 10% are Indian and 27% are Chinese. Academics and politicians say ethnic Chinese students of all ages have achieved stellar results in courses all taught in Mandarin. That's enough proof, they say, for their network of schools to continue teaching in Chinese. The Chinese school system in this country is probably the only kind in the world. Uh, we have 1,283 Chinese primary schools. We have uh, 60 independent Chinese secondary schools. And to destroy that system uh, by replacing math and science in English, I, I think it's a very drastic uh, solution that the, the, the Chinese community is not prepared to uh, accept. In 2000, the government cited that nearly half of all university graduates were unable to find jobs. It's understood the Prime Minister was convinced falling English standards were to blame. 
Despite opposition from some educators and political parties, the government has decided to go ahead with its plans. It will be a mammoth and unenviable task. First, it has to make sure all the teachers' standard of English is up to scratch. And then there's the issue of deploying at least 40,000 teachers to rural schools. It also hopes to hire 200 language experts from around the world, with a quarter of them from Malaysia's former colonial ruler, Britain. The government's rolling introduction of its English language teaching plan has won the approval of one of its most vocal critics. By recalling the words of Allah, Tun Saleh Abbas is the highly respected former head of Malaysia's judiciary and a prominent opposition politician with the influential Islamic Party PAS. I think from the very beginning I had my reservation when we first tried to dispense with the English language. So I think it's quite a good sign that English is going to be used as a medium instruction, but with reservation and caution that it must be done slowly and must be done calculatively. And if it isn't, parents like Lanswana Gobala Krishnan vow to take drastic action. As a parent, I'm very sure I would like to give the best to my children. If I can afford it, definitely I will take my children out of this school, which is changing to, Bas, uh, to the English language, and put them in a Malay school with Bahasa Malaysia. Because uh, if I can afford it, definitely I will do it. I will do it because all my children have been trained their, their education in Bahasa Malaysia. Malaysians have to wait and see if indeed, as critics claim, the English policy will undermine the use of mother tongues and lower academic achievements. It's become a passionate issue that risks social, racial and political discord in Malaysia. But supporters of the measure say you have to look at the big picture to understand the change. Malaysia can no longer afford to be at the bottom of the class in English if it wants to be competitive economically with its neighbors in Asia and the rest of the world.